Hello, my name is Jitu Abraham, and in this video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to set up the mass test on the RTO oscilloscope. Now, in this example, I've got a USB 3.1 Gen 1 signal, so this is a 5 gigabit uh, data stream that's coming through. And as you can see here, I've set up an eye diagram test for this data that's coming in. Now, it's quite traditional to put uh, colors and intensities on this, so you can again do this on the RTO. Under the display settings, you have the utility to use color tables, and then you can choose what kind of color table and the, all the intensities in the menu there. But as you can see, you can see all the, the, the actual coloring and the intensities of each of the pixel points. Now, to set up a mask, you have the mask tool here. And uh, under the test definition, you can define what kind of shape you want, depending on the standards, either a square, a diamond, a hexagon. So for this example, I've set up a hexagon. And I can just enable the test. And in the background, you see this is already predefined. And I can actually set that up. What you also see is you actually see the statistics on the on the box just there. So here you see how many acquisitions have passed and how it's been defined and the failure rate for each of those. And you see here it's quite fast. We're almost at about about three million waveforms just there. And uh, once I actually get a failure on the on the mass test, you can then start to see a red bar around. So if I expand the um, the mask a bit more to actually get some samples in there and there you go you can actually see as soon as we hit uh, or the waveform hits that actually mask we start to see the failure rates go up and so forth so that's the setup that you can actually do to actually set up the mask but if you wanted to have a quick check and see what's exactly wrong with my signal or try and find very very quickly not based on any standard or so on you can do that also with the rto so in here you have the mask tool on the toolbar and then by that, you can actually freely define with your finger a few sets of points, and then you can up and running on how to actually make those measurements valuable and visible. So there you go, uh, a very quick way to actually try and find exactly where those errors are coming from. Now that's an example of how to do mass tests, and you can actually see by having the fast update rate as well, we're able to capture a lot more statistical data and be able to verify the signals much quicker and make sure that your signals are error-free and there is no glitches in them.